Jörst Minsk Arias Sis in Moskau. Quiet, bodyguard. Save your hissing for your own kind. As for you, slave, Darth Scotia is passing. Best get out of his way. Darth Scotia can wait. You're making a huge mistake, filth. Give your master a message for me. My eye is on her, and I know. Tell her that. I know what she's trying to do here on Dromund Kass. You and your master have gotten this far, but it ends here, slave. I alone have the key. Tell her that. You and your master have no future on Drummond Cass or in the Sith Order. Tell her that. Now, get out of my way. What do you think? Can you eat him? Jani Bragais, uns in Freistubnajal. Ha! Fools! Are you acquainted with a big, ugly, half-machine Dark Lord? He had a message for you. Damn Scotia. What business has he, going behind my back, speaking to my apprentice? Trying to intimidate you, no doubt. Wretched monster. More machine than man and dangerously powerful. Ever since I arrived on Dromund Cast as an apprentice, he's made every effort to stand in my way. Ustaitnians and Parana, Rahitis ni Aino. Ultimately, we cannot even begin the search for Tulakhod's ancient power with Scotia's rattling breath on our necks. Somebody should stop him from breathing, then. Yes, and that somebody is you. You are going to kill Scotia for me. Is there a reason you can't do this? Wouldn't I love to? It would be much simpler that way. I cannot be tied to Scotia's murder. Brazen power plays make the Dark Council nervous. But nobody will believe that a mere apprentice could defeat Scotia. It's impossible, and that's why it will work. So what am I supposed to do? I've begun to piece together the puzzle for Darth Scotia's destruction, but some elements have yet to fall into place. Out in the jungle, a group of slaves has recently revolted. They were working on a colossal statue that has since gone unfinished. I believe Scotia is hiding something of great importance near this statue. Get the archaeological plans to the area from one of the slaves and contact me by holo communicator. In bizoze waitai spira press in kretai in bize e wanata atragata injais. Does this mean you found them? You found the archaeological plans? Of course, my master. Fantastic. I never doubted you. Now, let me see. Ah, yes. How clever. There's a chamber hidden under the Colossus itself. I bet my complete collection of Naga Sado's Yavin 4 writings that you'll find what we're looking for in this chamber. Tell me how to access this chamber. There should be a hidden entrance near the Colossus. It looks like Scotia has an entire underground base. You're looking for a tablet. The tablet is the symbol of leadership of an obscure Trandoshan cult. The lizards believe it was a gift from their deity, the Scorekeeper. Scotia stole the tablet and uses it to exert control over his Trandoshan bodyguards. Give them their relic, and Scotia's power over his bodyguards will turn to vapor. His own defenses will be his downfall. You could try it. It might weaken him a little. Scotia's not stupid enough to retain guards who could actually overpower him. The main thing is to keep Scotia's bodyguards off you. The plans suggest Scotia's apprentices guard this base. I don't doubt they hold the keys to acquiring the Trandoshan tablet. Best kill them all to be sure. Inupis just nas jans, now mipan astana tods jans. A 
napakawan. I've recovered the Trandoshan relic. Then we've both had success in our endeavors. But the Trandoshan bodyguards are only part of Scotia's defense. His greatest weakness is that he's mostly machine. The rogue Sith Lord, Grathan, is holding a cyborg expert named Dorotsek captive. He has developed a neutralizer for me, the kind that should destroy Scotia's cyborg elements. Find Dorotsek, get him to tell you where the neutralizer is, and then silence him. You want me to kill him? Whatever it takes. Grathen's estate is in the jungle. Interrogate the scientist. With any luck, Scotia will soon be out of our way. And then we'll be free to pursue Tulak Horde's lost power as we please. Ustaitnians an parana rahitis ni aino. Please, tell me Lord Zash sent you. Please, I can't stand it here any longer. I don't want to die. I understand you've created a device that can harm cyborgs. Give it to me. The device? Oh, you mean the neutralizer, the cyber neutralizer. My finest work yet, though I don't quite see what the use of it is. What makes you say that? The neutralizer works by hijacking the cyber neural center, causing it to fire impulses so rapidly it overloads. Real cutting-edge tech and real expensive to develop. It'll work like a charm on a droid, but it's one-off and too expensive for mass production. What of the mechanical Darth? I don't know who you're talking about, and I don't want to know. Lord Zash commissioned this weapon against cyborgs. The thing is, most cyborgs are only 10% machine. You need someone at least 50% machine for the neutralizer to do any real damage. Thank you for warning me. If you want it, take it. It's only a prototype, but I guess it'll work if there's one droid you really want to bash. It's in the lab building, can't be missed. But Grantham wouldn't let me at the power cells I need to power it. You'll need to steal those off his droids. I'm supposed to keep you quiet. And I think you know what that means. No, please. Zash said she'd free me. I have a wife and children and an astromech droid. I have to live. Ustaitnians an parana rahitis ni aino. Please, look, I'm an inventor, right? A damn good inventor. You let me live, I'll invent you something, whatever you want. Like something to protect me from my enemies. I know just the thing. I'll get started on it right away, okay? I'll send it to you, yes? And as for your plans, no one will hear a word about it from me. Not one word. Thank you. Thank you. Don't give me cause to rethink this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Not a moment too soon, apprentice. Tell me we were successful. 
Tell me you have the tech we need to destroy Scotia. I have the prototype. Fantastic. Magnificent. Perfect. Then the time to do the deed is now. Scotia is in his chambers as we speak. Be ready. Even with the power you have over him, he will be a frightful sight. Set your nerves of cortosis. Turn your fear into hatred. Remember, Scotia stands between us and glory. I feel as though I've lived my whole life for this moment. Good. Now listen closely. This is how you will kill Scotia. The relic you found under the Colossus is the key to Scotia's power over his Trandoshan bodyguards. Go to Scotia's chambers and show them the relic. The Trandoshans should stand down, or attack him or something. The confusion should be enough. This is the first step. You don't know what'll happen? Like I said, the confusion should be enough. You'll have to improvise the particulars. That's what makes it fun. With the bodyguards gone, you can get close enough to Scotia to use the prototype you stole from Graffens. But be mindful. Scotia may be more machine than man, but he's no weakling in the Force. Killing him will still be a challenge. Do you really think I'm ready for this? Of course. You ravaged four tombs on Korriban and tamed a Deshard. What's a crippled Dark Lord to you? Oh, I wish I could be there to see the contortions on Scotia's malformed face when you destroy him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm due to make an appearance at a party in the Nexus Room Cantina. Meet me there when you're done. <laughs> I see. Nothing yet. What makes this slave so bold as to enter my chambers? Tell me, slave, are you insane or do you have a death wish? I've been asked to kill you, and I hate to disappoint. <laughs> Skisk. Kill her. No has a man. The dark ha grota. I'm your master now. And scoff. I can't ask. Dark river takes his yasin. Not Wooja. Bosla Rukwa. Chatisa. Clever. Zash must have stayed up many a night to think of that one. I suppose you'll be sending my bodyguards away now, or maybe you'll order them to kill me. It should at least be entertaining. Tear him to pieces. You shouldn't have done that. The bodyguards, they're nothing. Show. But you subverted my authority, took my slaves from me, and that makes me angry. And killing you will be over too soon. No. I think you're going to have to... Suffer first. Afra Giban.
is this? Ha! Ah, did you... Zash! Zash! You've killed me! Don't blame Zash. This is all me. Mindless. You don't know what Zash can do. Think. Think of how many years she must have spent plotting my death. She will kill you, just like she's killed me. If that day comes, I'll be ready for her. Well, when I'd heard she'd taken up with a Mandalorian, I was scandalised. Just scandalised. A Mandalorian? Does nobody value Sith blood these days? I know, I know. Don't you think so, Zash? Iblesis amins why heis fools. Go and did a seek from Tauhans. I'm sorry, will you excuse me? I need to have a quick chat with my apprentice. If you must. Now, as I was saying. Thank the Emperor you've arrived. It doesn't matter how much one drinks. These parties are just dull, 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 dull. I hope you've come to cheer me up. Your plan worked perfectly. He's dead then? Excellent. You have performed magnificently, Apprentice. None of this would have been possible without you. Lord Zash. Darthanaton. I'm honored. Don't let me interrupt you. Don't go anywhere just yet, Apprentice. This call won't take long, and I have some further instructions for you. As I said, my lord, I'm honored. But why call me? You have nerve, Zash. Nerve. But I thought you were smarter. With all respect, Darthanaton, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play ignorant with me, Zash. Scotia's dead, and you killed him. Scotia? Dead? That's the first I've heard of it. When did this happen? Just now, Zash, and you know it. What did you expect to gain? His position? His title? You know it doesn't work that way. Where's your discretion? Discretion? I've been at this party for ages. I may have had a little much to drink, but I'm fairly certain I haven't murdered anyone. Though I have always fancied Scotia's chambers. So much more shelf space. Zash, I don't want to have this conversation by hollow. Report to my chambers immediately. Yes, Darth Anaton. It'll be my pleasure. Looks like you have a meeting to get to. Give me time to talk to Thanaton and then meet me in Darth Scotia's chambers. And don't worry, you've played your part, now it's time for me to play mine. We did it, Apprentice. There. There she is. It's Lord Zash's apprentice. Surely she knows. You wouldn't tell us if she did. Warbines Brigan Iswis Buidan. Still, it doesn't hurt to ask, does it? Colonel, let it rest. I will not let it rest. Everyone knows Lord Zash was at the party when Scotia was killed, and yet everyone knows she killed him. She somehow devised a way of being in two places at once. If I let it rest, we'll all be dead. That's not fear I smell, is it? No, of course not. But one must be ever vigilant on Drummond Cass so that your enemies don't gain an advantage. Maybe you shouldn't talk so much, then. But I must know. Please, you must tell me. How did Zash kill Darth Scotia? Lord Zash is innocent. Clearly she's not going to tell you, Kiernan. Let it rest. Fine, then. Fine. But I'm warning you, Calaveras. Lord Zash is becoming too powerful too quickly. Since when has anyone in the history of the Sith committed a murder so brazenly, yet made it appear that she was somewhere else the entire time? It's enough to wake the Emperor, I tell you. Perfect timing, Apprentice. I just met with that insufferable Thanaton, and I have good news. How did your meeting go? You would have been proud of me. I went into a reprimand, but I emerged a Darth. You've certainly earned it. I did more than you realize. Nevertheless, what's important is that we are finally free to act. Remember the map you found on Korriban that pointed us to the power of Tulak Horde? 
The first piece of that artifact, that power, is here on Drummond Cass. This piece is in the deepest chamber of the Dark Temple. Scotia always hoarded the key to the chamber like a hut hoards his credits. Now I have Scotia's title, his chambers, his research, and his key. He always said I would enter the Dark Temple over his rusting corpse. However, I won't be the one to go into the Dark Temple. You will. Why me? Before I went to Korriban to choose an apprentice, a furious apparition awakened in the Dark Temple, implacable in its anger, murdering all who trespassed on the innermost chamber. But I had a dream. An apprentice of low origin humbled himself, or herself as it happened, before the apparition, pacifying it. That's why you and your peers were chosen. I always knew I was special. You've been a far more capable apprentice than I ever hoped. But for this task, you must put aside your pride. You must go into the temple and face the apparition. And when you do, I believe that your humility will be the key. Still, I want you to know, I'm not certain you're the one from my dream. I fear I may be sending you to your death. Don't worry about me, Master. You're right. You retrieved the Holocron from Korriban when no one else could. If that's not proof of your destiny, I don't know what is. Tulak Hold's power awaits us both. We must not lose sight of this goal. Use this glyph to enter the innermost chamber of the Dark Temple. Humble yourself before the apparition and bring back the piece of the artifact. <laughs> talking about ah you don't know me has our family fallen so far that the daughter of my daughters does not know the name of Kalik, the name so long revered in the annals of the sith you are my descendant by how many generations i do not know but know this your strength in the force has awakened me from my stupor What do you mean, I awakened you? When the weaklings of this planet trespassed my tomb, I rose, resuming my former life. This temple became my kingdom, and I was once more a lord of the Sith. But when you first grasped the hilt of your lightsaber, I knew my hour had come and gone, that your strength, not mine, would return our family to glory. 
But I'm a former slave. That is my shame. I was once one of the greatest lords of the Sith. If I had been wiser, I could have secured my family's greatness. But I let down my guard and was betrayed by a man called Tulak Horde, whom I trusted as a friend. I places Amin's why heist fools. Go and did a seek from Tauhans. Ha! Your master is dead, beast. You serve the child of Khalid now. Flesh of my flesh, you should teach your servant to obey. I will deal with him as I see fit. Fair enough. I only caution you not to take obedience for granted. In restoring our bloodline to glory, you must not make the same mistake. Treachery is the Sith's endless game. You must win it. I couldn't care less about our bloodline. Fool! You think that you have risen to power in spite of your nothingness. But your nothingness must have had a purpose. And when that purpose is exhausted, you will go back to being nothing. Beware your master. Beware your apprentice. Never be taken by surprise. Do these things, and you will be unstoppable. But you have not come to see me. You have come for the artifact I managed to wrest from Tulak Horde before he died. Take the artifact, but be careful. I know not what it does. Only that betrayal follows it everywhere. When betrayal shows up, I'll kill it. If only all things were so simple. Keep your eyes open. I hunger for the day when our power will be restored. We will meet again. Apprentice, do you have the artifact yet? I have the artifact in hand. Of course. Brilliant! Magnificent! Hurry back to Scotia's, I mean, my chambers. I cannot wait to see this artifact. And I have a surprise for you. What kind of surprise? Trust me, you'll love it. Now hurry back with the artifact. I can't wait. Fantastic, Apprentice. You're just in time for my surprise. Since you left for the Dark Temple, I've been reading and reading and reading. Uh, Scotia's chambers are a treasure trove of research. Now, who would have thought a man like that had such a curious intellect? It almost makes me regret that we had to kill him. But let me see this wonderful artifact you found. You mentioned you had something for me. Indeed I did. And I'll get to it in a moment. But tell me, how did you manage to pacify the apparition? The apparition seemed to think you'd betray me. Then that ghost is an idiot. I am not so stupid. You are my most valued apprentice. Now, I've been studying Tulak Horde's artifacts closely for some time, and one glance at this one you've brought back confirms everything I've suspected. These artifacts will change everything, Apprentice. You especially. They will make you more powerful than you could imagine. I have foreseen it. What do the artifacts do, exactly? This artifact is one of five that together describe a peculiar ritual used by the great Tulak Horde when he conquered the Drummond system. Until I have all the artifacts, I cannot understand the full nature of the ritual, but I have foreseen that you alone will wield the ritual's power. The artifacts are scattered across the galaxy, some hidden by Tulak Horde himself and some wrenched from his hands by betrayers. 
Documents in Scotia's effects point to Balmora and Narshada, but I will need to do more research to locate the other two. Um, what do I do to get there? Ah, yes. That brings me to my surprise. If you're going to find these artifacts, you'll need a ship, and so I have ordered you one. All you need to do is pick it up. For me? You're too kind. Yes, you've earned it. You'll find your ship at the spaceport. Then the galaxy is yours to explore. Don't forget to contact me when you reach each planet for more information on the artifact's locations. Good luck and good hunting. Ababarna habans, klaub bena, ni in usakwai, usi terens apipao. I mean, greetings. I am 2VR8, that totem droid for this vessel. You must be my new master. Gentle, kind new master. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What's your function aboard my ship? I am programmed for a wide array of tasks, including but not limited to meal preparation, ship maintenance, janitorial duty, and etiquette. Welcome aboard this Fury-class Imperial Interceptor, a versatile craft combining a starfighter's maneuverability with armament to rival larger military vessels. You'll find all of the standard amenities, including your own private captain's locker for storing valuables. The Astrogation Console contains a constantly updated map of the known galaxy. Interstellar communications are accessed via the ship's holo terminal. Priority alerts that you may find useful are available from the Imperial Holonet Console. Lastly, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to issue new orders. Any questions, Master? Are you at least capable of providing security while I'm not aboard? I regret I am unable to offer you combat support, Master. Frankly, my chassis couldn't withstand the stress. However, should any errands arise that are beneath your superior status, please do not hesitate to call upon me. I function to serve you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on your bridge. It will program the proper astrogation coordinates and activate the engines. <laughs> 